Hello, I'm Mark Cuevas, and this is New Media Weekly. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Michael and Diana, the creators of Geek Crash Course. How do you guys engage your audience? How have you built out your brand? Um, I mean, there's the, the obvious answer is social media, but um, I mean, in terms of the show, every week we say, you know, subscribe above, comment below. We say it every week, and we do get comments, which is sometimes nice, sometimes traditionally comments. Right. <laughs> um, but I mean, we also have, uh, we have Twitter, which has been great, especially now that I like work at a desk, I can just tweet all day. Um, don't tell my boss. Um, everybody's doing it. Uh, Facebook, um, Facebook and Google Plus are like on the same level to me of I do them because everyone does them. Right. Well, Facebook is definitely, we have a smaller following, but it's um, more personal. It's definitely like fans of the show that we've met. Um, yeah. And that not only like our page, but then like friend us in real life. Well, so it in extends Facebook life. the well, yeah. geek community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Facebook is a nice place because, I mean, in terms of the Geek Crash Course Facebook page, I, I should I should say the, the Facebook page is a little bit more involved because, you know, we can, I, I make a point of going out and liking the things we cover on the show, too. So if you, like, look at our Geek Crash Course's likes, you see, you know, uh, Star Wars or, well, not Star Wars, but we haven't covered Star Wars yet. <laughs> Wink. Did, um, did, did, I, did I give you that look of... Why not Star Wars? <laughs> no, no, uh, we're, we're saving it um, for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. um, Can't wait. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I make a point of like trying to make us people wherever we are. So like the Geek Crash Course Twitter, because I do a lot of the tweeting, has a lot of my opinions. Sure. Um, which tends to create a lot more conversation, which is nice. Um, I, to be honest, I barely use Google Plus because I mostly find it annoying. Okay. Um, and slightly redundant, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Facebook, and yeah. if if Google Plus supported cross posting, this is my like directly to Google Plus guys. If, if they supported cross posting, it would make my life so much easier because right. our we have a blog, and the blog will cross post to Facebook, and we only do it once a day, so it's not like we're bombarding the page. Um, but it would be nice to like have things contained, you know. Well, not contained, but for me to be able to do a minimum amount of work <laughs> with a maximum amount of return. I think that's the dream, but... Um, Smarter, not yeah. more. And yeah. we, uh, we also have a, a website. We actually have geekcrashcourse.com. Yeah, first um, thing I did. And we have, uh, uh, you know, an About Us page where you can kind of find out who we are and, you know, you find out we're real people and we just like stuff and we make a show about it. Of course um, you're real people. You're geek. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, the, the thing, it's, it, it's easy to fall into a persona as like a host of a thing but as no, much as there, there there is sort of a, a person like a persona we step into when we do the show we step on our sides we're of the board little, and yeah we're, we're like, definitely a little more exaggerated in I'm, our i'm certainly more animated as a person our, in the like show and stuff. Of course. than i am in real life i I'm it's entertainment nervous yeah. around actual people it's very easy to talk <laughs> to an animate box that records my face um but i we found wanted we wanted to uh, make ourselves accessible, so we have, you know, a site, we have a little about us, we have all of our, um, you know, episodes, and we have our blog, uh, which is cool and has actually gotten us um, some, uh, some, some recognition, and um, all of our blogs are, are on different geeky things, so we can always connect with different people. Um, and we also have a contact page, and anyone that, that emails or tweets us or Facebooks us, we make a point to write back to every single person. We were, I mean, we were, I... Yeah, we respond mm -hmm. to everybody. And the thing I keep finding is the internet will always surprise you. I, I, How so? I mean, I reviewed, I reviewed this uh, Doctor Who audio from 2001, I think it was. Uh, the one, I think it was the one doctor. It might have been. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, and the author commented on our blog post. He was like, wow, it's really nice to see people are still listening to these. And I was like, I well, like I'm really glad I gave it four <laughs> stars. Because, whoa, that would have been awkward. How have you, uh, what do you find to be the biggest difference in the platforms like uh, Blip, YouTube, or posting video to Facebook? Which, which is your preferred method of? Um, uh, we do, I mean, from day one, we do everything from Blip. In terms of, I only have to upload to one place, and then Blip kind of puts it everywhere else. They, they aggregate it. Mm -hmm. which, yeah, which is really nice. I mean, recently they did shrink the amount of distributors they go out to, but I mean, we weren't seeing a lot of returns on those, those right. distributors. 
Right. You know, so. Um, we are on, YouTube has definitely gotten us um, yeah. more views on some of our shows because it, some of the, sh the the topics we cover, um, like we did a, a Battlestar Galactica Blood yeah. and Chrome, and we seem to be that show exploded. the only people that know anything about Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. Yeah, we, we so need to have a serious talk about this. <laughs> well, the, I mean, the, the nice thing about it was uh, I, I was able to read the script, so I knew how to format our show in terms of what we needed to do. How did you uh, gain access? I can't to tell you because I haven't read it, wink. <laughs> but I've read it. You know, I'm trying um, to get exclusive folks. I'm trying. Sorry, I'm guys. Trying. Um, yeah, so uh, it's funny when you, you YouTube search Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome, we are on the first page of search results. And we're two people standing there with a, a whiteboard that says Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. So people are like, they seem to know what they're talking about, and they click it, and we get yeah. views. If it's on the internet, it's got to be true. Yeah. yeah, and the nice thing is every piece of that news sends people to YouTube. The, 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 tr the fake, well, the leaked trailer got out, and that helped us more. Because mm -hmm. people were searching Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome because they wanted to see the trailer, and they saw us. two folks who seemed to, to, to seem to look like they knew what they were doing. Um, so it definitely depends on, on the topic to, I guess, answer your ultimate question, is that um, when people go to YouTube and they're just, y you know, searching for stuff, we pop up. Um, and yeah. then people that go to Blip specifically to watch our show seem to watch most of our shows. Yeah. In terms of actively supporting us, too, a Blip has been kind of amazing mm -hmm. for us being like the little show that continues to do, not so much good. Um, but Blip yeah. loves their producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They make you feel very at home and not lost in a gigantic ocean. Yeah. yeah. They've really they've been wonderful. They, um, we've been on their homepage a couple of times, and I, uh, I took a screenshot. And it's it was. It's in our press page because I was so excited. Yeah. It's, and I want to like frame that. All on of the wall. little icons, and then the, the big one is us. And I just kind of sat there and was totally blown away. And I was like, that's. Yeah. We're there. Yeah. Like that was, in yeah. that, in the big, the big one, not like the little guys. But we're the big one that's up right now, and that's us. And yeah. thank that you. That must feel very <laughs> rewarding. It yeah. is. Which leads me to my next question. What has been the one moment for both of you that was like. The way cool moment. This is what we are doing. Um, <laughs> mine is really easy, <laughs> <laughs> really easy, and Diana already knows what it is. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I got to interview Paul McGann. Uh, I am here with Paul McGann, uh, recently of Luther, also of uh, Horatio Hornblower, and most famously. The eighth doctor of Doctor Who. That's my whole canon you've gone through from A, I, to, I was, a to B. I was, I was debating mentioning Alien 3, but. Why? I'm one of those people who doesn't have a favorite doctor. I think, I'm okay. I think all, because they're the same guy. That's my philosophy on it. So I like William Hartnell as much as I like Tom Baker as much as I like Matt Smith. But I listen to a lot of Paul McGann audios because he's the guy. And um, he was, I mean, Paul McGann's also my first doctor because I'm a child, and my first Doctor Who was in 1996. Um, I was born the year it was canceled. Um, <laughs> do the math. Uh, so the second time, not the first time with Colin Baker, sorry, anyway. Um, I, I have a, a thing for Paul McGann because of Withnail and I. Yeah, great movie, so. exactly, yeah. So um, being able to like sit there and talk to him, even though he was supremely jet-lagged, and like ask him ridiculous <laughs> questions that he's probably had to answer a thousand times before, but I was the guy asking that question was really bizarre. It's one of those moments, it's again one of those moments where you sit there and you're like, I'm the host of a thing and I'm interviewing this person. It's, the, it's weird. That whole press call was actually really surreal for me. It was one of those days where you like go in and you do the thing and after, I mean, after the McGann interview, I like couldn't stand up. Yeah. Right. I like all the energy had like drained from my <laughs> body, just like trying to focus on this, like what I'm doing, do this right, don't look weird. You know, like <laughs> I already channel enough nervous energy into the show <laughs> and like running out of it is a new experience for me. 